So today is one of the few days here in Arizona where we seem to be getting a little bit of rain. So that's interesting. Um, I wanted to do a video uh, kind of demonstrating these uh, fire straws that I make. Kind of a nice little way to um, pack around some dry tinder with you. Um, but I'm going to find a, uh, a couple little cave areas, mini caves out here that um, will give me some protection against the rain if it starts dumping down. Um, it's not really coming down much right now, but it's kind of coming in waves, so I'm going to find a little spot and then I'll, then I'll pull out these fire straws. So these, uh, these little mini pocket caves are great for having some natural protection from the rain. Um, but you do have to be careful when you're picking them. Uh, this one's pretty easy to see because it's been raining. So you can see this, uh, you got some dry dry area here. You can see the exact, as long as the wind doesn't start blowing too, you can, you can know exactly where you need to keep your fire and all your things to stay out of the water. Um, what's trickier is when it hasn't started raining, you're just seeing the clouds moving in and you're trying to pick a good shelter. So you really have to pay attention because sometimes, sometimes you'll have a good roof on these caves but the way it slopes you'll actually get the rain it'll it'll run down here but instead of dropping straight down like this one will it'll actually run back down in on you and soak you so I've done that before um, so it's just kind of nice to kind of look at the watch your roof line let's see if I can get a better angle here so as you can see here the roof line here it's allowing the rain to come and it's gonna drop straight down now, obviously, if you had a wind coming in this way, um, you're going to have to secure that. Otherwise, you're going to get wet. But um, this one should be good for today. I think it's going to be kind of off and on sprinkles is all it's going to do. So uh, should be good for our purposes. All right. So today what I wanted to talk about are these little uh, fire straws, I call them. It's just a way to hold your uh, some man-made tinder. Like uh, I use cotton, and sometimes I'll mix the cotton with Vaseline to give it a little bit longer burn time. So these things are really handy. They're really portable. Um, they're self-contained and they're little waterproof uh, things. So I, I like using them. It lets me bring um, easy to light man-made tinder out out here with me and keep it in my pack for long periods of time. Um, I don't use it as much here in the desert. When I lived in Alaska, I used them a lot more because uh, there's a lot more days when when uh, when I needed them because it was harder to get a fire started. Here everything's so dry that uh, you can accidentally find awesome tinder. But um, So if you're in an area where it's more moist or if you just want that ease of not having to search for something, especially if you're starting your fire with either a ferro rod or, um, or an ember um, of any sort. All right, so first thing I'm going to do is just cut this open and... Um, Get that cotton out, fluff it up all good. But the fluffier you get it, the bigger spark target you have for one. But also, uh, that's just more more fuel for the fire. Okay, so I'm going to push the fire under here once it gets going, but I'm going to start it out out here so it can breathe good. A piece of cotton there gave plenty of flame to be able to get this started uh, without a problem. It caught the spark nice and easy, and it saved me from having to go search for uh, for the grasses and things that I usually use out here for tinder because most of it's pretty moist right now. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to once this gets warm enough to be able to be moved, get some coals moved. I'm going to slide it underneath my my grill plate there and get my water boiling. But in the meantime, I'm not going to waste this heat. I'm going to cozy this on in next to the fire. And get it at least warming up. No sense wasting wasting heat. Slide 
slide this in here a little early, so it's a little bit mad at me. That's okay. I think we can put some of this in here and I'll give it some air. It should be fine. Right, we are boiling lasagna, mountain house style. I like these dehydrated meals because they they pack up real light. Um, they're easy, but I don't always like them, <laughs> and I don't always like what. Um, the carb to protein fat ratios that are going on in there as far as sustaining my energy which is kind of why we eat um, so I'm actually gonna start uh, dehydrating my own meals so if anybody has ever done that I haven't so if anybody's done that before and would like to share any awesome recipes with me that would be great otherwise uh, stay tuned for future videos of me experimenting with strange foods. Let this sit for a bit and I will eat. <laughs> 